Chapter Genesis chapter 1 In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters and God said let there be light and there was light and God saw the light that was it was good and God divided the light from the day darkness and God called it light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day and God said let there be firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the from the waters and God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament and it was so and God called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day and God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters, called the seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good, and the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for the light in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales and every living creature that moved which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every winged fowl after his kind and God saw that it was good and God blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the sea and let fowl multiply in the earth and the evening and the morning were the fifth day and God said let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creepy things and beasts of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind. And everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our end after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and 
over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. And male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be shall be for me and to every beast of the earth and to every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life i have given every green herb for me and it was so and God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Chap chapter 2 Thus the heaven and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work, which he had made and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. These are the generations of the heaven and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heaven and every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the lord god had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground but there went up a mist a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils and the breath of life and man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and the good for food the tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil and a river went out of eden to water the garden and from thence it was parted and became two foreheads the name of the first is his that is, it which compasses the whole land of Halva, where there is gold. And the gold of the land is good. There is Bedalim and the ox stone. And the name of the second river is Gideon. Gideon. The same is it that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia. And the name of the third river is Hadakal, that is it which goeth toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Ephrates. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to, to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden, don't may is freely be. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shall not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. 
And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found a help meet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead of instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his wife, his father, and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife. And they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked. The man and his wife were not ashamed. Chapter 3 Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord his God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yet had God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as God, knowing good and evil. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and her he did eat. And the eyes of them were both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig trees together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Has thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou givest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord said, God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field upon thy belly shalt thou go and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life and i will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed it shall bruise thy head and thou shalt be his heel unto the woman he said I will greatly multiply thy sorrow, and thy conception, and 
sorrow, so shall be for children, and they desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken for dust, and thou art, and unto dust shall thou return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothe them. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden, to till, to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword, which turned every way the way of the tree of life. Chapter 4 And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bare pain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the first of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering, but unto Cain, to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his conscience fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy conscience fallen? If thou does well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou does not well, sin lie it at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which had opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength, a fugitive, and a vagabond shall go be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out of this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And 
And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord, and dwelt in the land of the Nod, on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he built a city, and called the name of the city after the name of the son Enoch. And unto Enoch was born Irad, and Irad begat Mazubizibiah. And Mezira begat Methuselah, and Mezira begat Lamesh. And Lamesh took unto him two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other is Hila. And Ada bare Jabal. He was the father of such as well tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handled the harp and organ. And Zila, he also bare two bell kings, and instructor of every art, art, artificer, brass and iron. And the sister of two bell kings was Nama. And Nama Lamesh said unto his wife, Ada and Zilla, hear my voice, ye wise of Lamech, hearken unto my feet, for I have slain a man to my wound, and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold, and Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth. For God said she had appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And to Seth, to him also, there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. Chapter 5 This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam, in the day when they were created. And Adam lived a hundred and thirty years, and he got a son in his own likeness after his image, and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam, after he had begot Seth for eight hundred years, and he begat sons and daughters. And all the days of that, that Adam lived were nine hundred and thirty years, and he died. And Seth lived a hundred and five years, and begot Enos. And Seth lived after he begot begat Enos eight hundred and seven years begat sons and daughters, and all the days of Seth were nine hundred and twelve years, and he died. And Enos lived ninety years, and begat Canaan. And Enos lived after he begat Canaan eight hundred and fifty years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enos were nine hundred and five years, and he died. And Canaan lived seventy years, and begat Malali. Canaan lived after he begot Mal Malali 840 years, and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Canaan were 910 years, and he died. And Malali lived 65 years, and begat Jared. And Malali lived after he begot Jared. 830 years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Mila were 895 years, and he died. And Jared lived 162 years, and he begot Enoch. And Jared lived after he begot Enoch 800 years, and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared were nine hundred sixty and two years, and he died. And Enoch.
not live 65 years. He got Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah. 300 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 360 and 5 years. And Enoch walked with God and he was not, for God took him. And Methuselah lived 180 and 7 years and begot Lamech. And Methuselah lived after he begot Lamech 780 and 2 years. Begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Masula were 969 years, and he died. And Lamesh lived 180 and two years, and he begot a son. And he called his name Noah, saying, This saying shall comfort us concerning our work, toil of our hands, because of the ground which the Lord has cursed. And Lamesh lived after he begot Noah, 590 and five years, and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Lamesh were 777 years, and he died. And Noah was 500 years old, and Noah begot Sam, Ham, and Shaphat. Just wanna thank you. 
it's me again From the house round the bend You let me down when I thought we were friends Hello brother How have you been? How's the wife, how's the kid? Man, I wish we were closer But it is what it is Cause it's a long and winding road Growing up and getting old Hello lover Our first kiss in the snow It turns out you were colder than the wind on my nose Hello stranger You hand me my change Same sad look on your face That I could bring comfort But it is not my place The letters I sent I'm just down here surviving The best that I can
sound Close your eyes and listen To the sound I'll be there 